a floater quartz crystal, but to me quite fascinating because you have you have the aspects. Look at that. There's bright lustrous. Let me just zoom in on that. It's a tiny bit lighter than what you're seeing in the picture. There's that section with a red inclusion. I suspect that this is from the Art and Villa Mine Messina. Please look at my description. I do need to look under magnification to look for some telltale uh, signs. But the, the formation in total... Uh, okay, let's run through this. So there's a crystal face running across there. There's a reddishness. There's a... Uh, I don't know if these are inclusions or the effect. Uh, almost a shattered glass effect over there. Running through there, there you can see the thin rim of crystal. There's the crystal which has just got an opening there. Let's zoom in on that. Let's go around like that. So there is definitely a second generation of quartz which grew over the initial generation. Uh, so there was what you see here, the the exposed hematite crystals would cause the reddishness underneath this section. Let's just uh, see if we can get a little bit closer on that. Here we go. Really a lovely piece and not all that small. So it's a it's a pretty good size too. Let's just tilt it in so we can look at what's happening in the crystal. I think I struggled a bit with my still pictures on this guy. I often struggle with the white crystals and quartz per se because there are so many reflections and so many angles. There's a little crystal face on that corner. Let's go around again like this. And I suspect most likely this is from the Art and Villa Mine, Messina, South Africa. Bright, lustrous, uh, hematite included quartz.